everybody. So today's Monday. That means it's time for family movie night. And this week we are continuing on Jane Austen month and I'm doing a movie that's a little more obscure. Uh, we're talking about modern persuasion and this is 2020 movie that came out during the pandemic uh, starring Alicia Witt. And uh, it is a, I think a pretty clever take on the story of persuasion. And instead of having to be about her family, they've transferred everything to being about her uh, work family, basically her work environment. And uh, I think what makes this version of persuasion work is that they basically are staying true to the novel as far as all of the main plot beats and into Anne's character. I think that Alicia is pretty close. Her character's name is Ren here, but her insecurities, her being sort of introverted, I think you see that all here. So it's not like the Netflix persuasion, which wasn't a modern uh, adaptation, but it was a loose adaptation uh, in that they completely changed the plot and uh, they completely changed Anne's character. And so this to me is much better. And they really capture almost all of the main beats of the story. They even have like your Louisa Musgrove type character that gets injured, they have the friend who has, has had a heartbreak. They have the, obviously the two leads that were in love, but then got separated because of the advice of her aunt. And you have Bibi Newworth playing her aunt. And I think that she's great. I mean, I love her. She's always so funny with some Frasier or uh, on Broadway. Uh, so I love seeing her in this. And uh, I think that Alicia Witt is really good. She's very, very likable, very charming. Uh, you understand why she's had this kind of hold on this guy. That Shane McRae is really good as our Wentworth type. And they did change all of the names. His name is Owen in this movie, but they gave the her cat his name Wentworth, which I thought was kind of funny, a funny little joke. Um, but they even include the like iconic letter. Uh, but in this case, they knowingly are quoting persuasion. It's like that favorite book that we read in college, uh, half agony, half hope. So it's a little self-aware in that way, which I think works pretty well. This movie, you have the production values of a television movie. It's also the length of a television movie. So I think in a lot of ways, it sort of feels that way, not like a feature film. I do really like the animated credits that they have. Those are, that's charming. The intro credits and outro credits. So that's a nice touch. So it does have some elevated things that you don't typically see in TV movies, but the lighting, the kind of harsh lighting that you see in TV movies you have here. Uh, so that's something that if you're not used to watching the kind of movies that you kind of have to get used to is this harsh lighting. Uh, but I really like uh, the whole cast, uh, Mark Moses playing her boss, Lisa Lapira in here playing a pregnant woman. I loved her in Must Love Christmas this last year. So she's just a really good actress uh, and very funny in this. The horse, the cast, I think have enough laughs that you enjoy uh, watching it. And uh, it feels like a, I don't know, I feel like they capture some of that charm of Jane Austen and particularly in Persuasion while updating it to a modern work environment. I think that's the natural place to put it because we just don't have those kind of family uh, roles and dynamics that you have uh, in Persuasion. I think it makes sense where, where you still have some of those structures of the way we're supposed to behave in a business kind of environment. So I liked that they decided to make that change. And it doesn't bother me because I think they stay relatively true to the book. Like I said, all the main plot points are there for the most part. And then they add things in, they have her friend being this cranky pregnant woman, things like that, that are funny. And I had the opportunity to interview Alicia Witt after I saw the movie and I talked to her about it. And here's some of the things that she said. This has been a huge part of my, my growing up and my formative mm -hmm. years and persuasion in particular was one of my favorite mm -hmm. novels of hers because of the fact that it deals with the possibility of reconnecting with somebody that you loved so long ago. And the idea that perhaps just because somebody wasn't right for you in that way, mm -hmm. when you first connected, maybe they could be again. And it sounds like it was a really fun project to work on. 
and uh, that they that were such a great cast like I said would be new earth and, and everybody else Ugh, wow what a cast mm-hmm. uh, attached to it and i think it's like each and every one of them brings such a world of um like a, a an entire complicated life like you could branch off on each one of them and tell tell their story Mm -hmm. i think that if you are a jane austen fan particularly if you're a fan of tv movies because this is a million times better than most of the jane austen adaptations that well quote-unquote adaptations from hallmark uh where they just it's name only it's not even the story uh this it at least it has the sort of bare bones of persuasion it's recognizable as persuasion uh, this is way better than most of those, than any of those that I've seen on Hallmark Channel. So if you're a fan of TV movies, if you're a fan of Jane Austen, if you like Persuasion, I think that you'll enjoy this. It's got terrible reviews on Letterboxd, but I liked it. I think it's funny. I think it's well done. I like Alicia Witt in the role. I think that her and Shane have nice chemistry. They work well together. So I definitely recommend modern persuasion i think it's underrated so let me know what you think if you get a chance to see it i would love to hear your thoughts please like this video please subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate that Uh, check out the patron group and merch store and uh, check out hallmarkies podcast for all kinds of coverage interviews like i did with alicia so uh thanks again and we'll talk to y'all later bye